today I'm going to be teaching you how to separate your Roblox character's limbs in Blender 2.8. So recently, I have been seeing a lot of people um, having, I guess, problems separating Roblox limbs in the new version of Blender. And what I've found is I found a way on how to separate them and it's not that hard it's very simple so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up you're going to import your character onto Roblox Studio and you're going to open up where your username appears and then you're going to export your Roblox hats first I'm going to select all three hats of my character going to right click and I'm going to press export selection then I'm going to find a the folder where I'm going to save it and I'm going to give it a name I'm just going to put hats then I'm going to run I'm going to export the rest of the body parts we're going to right click and I'm going to export select now we can open up blender now once you open up blender you're gonna get rid of this cube by pressing X and clicking on delete then you're going to press file, import, and wavefront. Then you're gonna have to find the OBJ file. So I'm gonna import the body first. And my body should appear here. Now, if we click on this little ball here on the corner, um, which is the rendered view, your texture is already inside, so we don't have to um, add it so I'm gonna go back to the normal model view and what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start separating the limbs so by doing so you're going to go all the way to the left side of your screen where it says object mode but you're gonna to have to select the body first object mode and then you're going to press edit mode now that you're in edit mode your character will be selected all of it then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to mesh and then clean up and click delete loose. You're going to press A on your keyboard to select everything and you're going to click this third cube here to select all faces. Then you're going to press the toggle x-ray so that we can see through the character. Then you're going to press 5 and press control one to go to the front view. Then you're gonna click on this hand and you're just going to adjust the view so that you're, you're gonna be comfortable selecting. Now, this is the part where you select the lips. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna start off by select the separating the arm. So by doing that, I'm gonna click I'm gonna left I'm gonna right click on the arm and then I'm going to press B. I'm going to select just half just that one limb and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not touching I'm not selecting anything that's part of the torso so I can see that I've selected only this arm then I'm going to click on this again and I'm going to start selecting what I didn't select so I'm going to press control and left click control hold control and then left click on the faces of the arm and you want to make sure that you don't miss any parts now, I want to see if I selected this side of the arm, so I'm just going to move my camera. And I can see that I've selected it because it's all orange. And make sure that this is not selected when you're looking through the torso. Okay, so now that I've selected that one arm, you're going to go to mesh. And then you're going to press separate and click on selection. Now you can see that it became like it's solid. So you have to go back to edit mode and turn to object mode. 
and as you can see the limb is already separated from the body which is what we want and you basically have to do this for the torso and the other parts of the Kurobox character but I'm going to show you how to do the head so we're going to go back we're going to select the other the rest of the body go to edit mode press 5 and press Control 1 to go to the first view or you can press this key and it will just you know direct you to what view you want to go to right so once you're back you're going to press B you're going to select the head make sure that you're in faces face selection and on the x-ray so you can select the other part of the head so I'm gonna select part including the bottom then you're going to press on the x-ray then you're going to deselect what you don't want to be selected because we're just going to separate the head so press ctrl and right click to deselect the extra parts that we selected so that looks good i'm gonna like look go back to this view just to see that i selected the bottom as well and we did so Again, we're going to go to Mesh, Separate, and Selection. Or you can press P as a shortcut key. But yeah, and now you selected your head off of the body. It's going to go back to Object Mode. And now you can see that the head and the arm is away from the body. So it's separated from the body as a single object. And basically what you have to do like I said you have to do the same thing for the legs and the arm and the torso Now, let's say you are working on a limb and you come across this problem like I just did here. So this means that you didn't really select the bottom part of this torso or whichever limb you were working on. So make sure that you just have to select the bottom part of this um, torso. If you just press Ctrl Z, you can just try again and try to select them again. So as you can see, this little like sort of triangle between the two legs, that's the bottom part of the torso. So just keep that in mind to help you. And don't forget to select this one too by holding control and right click. And you can see that the bottom part is selected which is which I think you can tell when you see this white line across like the bottom torso that's the top that's the bottom part of the torso since that part is wider and um, I know that the smaller line across this square here is the top part of this leg so that's kind of a guide on to know like which part is from that specific torso, a specific limb. Now I'm just gonna press mesh, separate and selection. Back to object mode and now I have four limbs that are apart from the other 
character parts. Alright, and as you can see here, you can see that the character is transparent. Don't worry about that, that won't show up on your final rendering. So you can just ignore that. And I'm just going to move on to separating both legs. Alright, so now that we have separated all of our limbs, we are finally ready to head on to the next step. So, right now we're going to import our character's hat. So, we're going to go back to import, wavefront, and find our hat. And as you can see, our hat has been imported right in place where the head is. Now I'm just going to go to material mode by clicking on this third circle over here. And you can finally just model, pose, make your character a pose. Um, and just a quick tip, as you can see, every time I select a an object, I can see that the arrows are at the bottom. So to get rid of that, you're just going to select everything by pressing A. And you're going to go on top here, press object set origin, origin to geometry. That will give an arrow to each part of the limb so it's easier to rotate or move around. So I'm just going to pose my character. Some of like the most basic poses. Sort of like reminds you of how people used to make their GFX when they didn't know about rigs. But yeah, this is sort of just for people who want to make GFX the old way and bend limbs the old way without using a rig. Now, once we've posed our character, made a pose for our character, with the hats, as you can see that the hats and the head are both different objects. So, let's say when, you're, when it comes to rotating the head, the head is the only thing that's going to move because that's the only thing you're selecting. So if you want to move the head and the hat together, you can just join them together by clicking on the head and then selecting the hat as well. Then you're just going to join them by going to object and join. Now that once you move your head, they both move together because they're in one object now. you can comfortably just pose your character's head and we can proceed on making our GFX.